everybody. Happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday and I hope you guys are ready. I'm coming a little early today. Like I told you, I have so much to show you and I have to pick my daughter up at three. So two o'clock really only gives me an hour. So I thought today I'd give myself an hour and 15 just in case. All right, I'm going to make sure I'm in the right place. Yeah, I think so. Um, so today is my birthday and I am celebrating with you guys doing Facebook Friday. I thought um, yesterday as I was preparing all of these projects um, that I should have done a birthday theme, but I didn't do that. So um, we're sticking with fall and stuff from the holiday catalog. Hi guys. Thanks, Stephanie. Hi, Marianne. Um, but I do want to share with you um, some things I've got in the mail this week. Oh my gosh, I've been so excited. Every day I've gone to the mailbox and there's been like two, maybe three things in my mailbox. So that's fun. I obsessively check my mail. I don't know about you guys. I know some people never check their mail, but I love checking the mail, which is so dumb. Um, but um, I obsessively check my mailbox every day. Um, so I was excited to get some things in the mail. So while we wait for everybody to find us, let me show you a few things. I've gotten some cards. Um, a lot of my team members have been sending me stuff. And you know what? I actually know there are a couple things in there right now. Um, you guys know that on the post at the USPS.com, you can actually subscribe to get an email um, of what's in your mail every day. That way, if something gets stolen, you'll know. Well, I get that, and I look at it every day. And I know there's some things in my mailbox, but I have to actually drive to my mailbox, and I haven't done that today. So I know there's more coming. Um, anyways, so first I want to show you my um, Downline Terry's card. Terry and I have been friends for, oh gosh, I don't know, a long time. She lived in my neighborhood and found me that way, joined my club, and immediately joined um, my team. So Terry loves to make cards and you know what? I didn't save the envelope, but Terry also always puts a liner inside the envelope of beautiful paper. So there's Terry's card. And then this one. Oh, I loved this one. This is from Crystal. It's very me. Pink and turquoise. And I like how she used that birthday paper. Um, that's the Broadway birthday paper, but she didn't go with the colors that are with the rest of the pack, which I love. She used a lighter pink and um, what looks like um, Coastal Cabana. Thank you, Crystal. Very cute. I love that set. I need to use it more. This one is bright and fun. This is from Gina. Now, Gina, I have several things. Okay, I wanna make sure I have them right. Gina's on here, right, Gina? You're here? Look how bright and cute. And Gina sent me a candle Oh, I don't know, a couple of months ago, and she sent me another one, and this time it's fall, and I love it. I have been burning through the candles lately. There she is. Hi, Gina. Anyway, this one is a good one. This one is a salted caramel apple, which you have to be careful. I love the food flavors, but I swear I eat more when I'm burning a candle that has the, the sweet flavor, but I love this one. So thank you, Gina. I appreciate it. Um, now, you guys, look at this. This card made me giggle because she knew me so well. This is from my friend Sue. Sue has given me goodies before. So thoughtful. Look how beautiful that is. That is, um, it looks like she did the Buffalo check in early espresso on Bermuda Bay. And there's those chicken wire elements. Gorgeous. She also sent me this. Look at this. It's a pumpkin, a Buffalo check pumpkin. Two of my favorite things, Buffalo check and pumpkin. So super cute, Sue, of course, super cute. You always know exactly what to get me. And then my neighbor this morning, Anita, she's another one of my customers. She sent me this cute little card. Look how cute. It was waiting for me when I got home from my run this morning. Um, so Anita, very, very cute. I love it. It was a nice surprise to walk, um, in the, uh, walk up to my house and see a card waiting for me. Now this one came, special delivery, FedEx today. I was like, I didn't order anything that's coming FedEx, but I was super excited. This is from another one of my downlines, Antoinette, and she's, she has a note here that she cased it, but whatever. It's super beautiful, and Antoinette, look at that. So beautiful, but that's not the only thing that was there. Look. Look at this box. So cute, and you did a very good job packing that, Antoinette. I was very impressed with your packing job. Inside, some beautiful lemon hand cream. 
That's so cute. I've never seen that before. Perfect for that lemon set. And she, oh wait, I didn't see this. Oh, nice. So thoughtful, cute little themed gift. I love it. And she also sent me another a candle piece. I don't know. I think she's trying to tell me something. I need to. I need to sit and have some serenity. Mm, that will do it. Okay. Now I also have to show you guys my daughter, my oldest daughter. Um, she is an artist like my mom. She truly is gifted artistically, and that's probably what she's going to major in when she goes to college in a couple of years. But she made me a big card. Look at that with that watercolor wash. And she does that fancy hand lettering. So cute. It's on watercolor paper. And then, oh, calling me. I forgot to put my phone on. Do not disturb. Oops, hope it doesn't do it again. But anyway, that's my daughter's card. Super sweet and thoughtful of my daughter. She is very sweet, my oldest. She, we always say that she makes us look good because she's such a good kid. We got lucky with her. <laughs> and then the other two came and everybody's like, oh, okay, you're normal. <laughs> our, our youngest two are wild and crazy. We love them, of course. Okay, so those were my sweet gifts. I just had to share that with you. Um, I have two new classes I wanna show with you before we actually get started in a few minutes. Um, oh, there's my mom. Hi, mom. Oh, thank you. Tell your art two class I said hello and thank you. Um, so I have two new classes. You guys might have seen it listed. Um, I listed both of them yesterday. Um, I have two for October. And the first one is the Falling for Leaves class. Here it is. And it features the Falling for Leaves bundle, which is quickly becoming my go-to set right now. I have probably created about... 12 things with this. I love it so much. In fact, you'll see it next week on Facebook Friday. Um, but that's this class um, for October. And it has, it also includes the Nature's Palm Twine. Can you tell which one was my favorite? <laughs> Yours will come full, I promise. You, it was Blackberry Bliss, by the way. Um, but it has three over-the-top cards and then three kind of 3D things. And one of them is a wine tag, which I love. Isn't that beautiful? So that class right now is on my blog. I just listed it yesterday. So hopefully today's Facebook Friday post went live, but if you scroll down, it'll be right under there. Um, you actually have to email me for that registration link. Or if you got my email that I sent out yesterday, it was in there too, so you can just click. I can send the links through email, but I can't send those registration links. Um, I can't put them online. I have to only send them through email. So if you want the registration link, email me. Um, also, on today's PDF, it's on the second page back there, right there. Okay, so that's class number one. And that actually, um, October 15th, no, no, October 16th is the deadline for that, um, to register for that. And I'll have them out a week after October 23rd, okay? That's a really good fall class. Get you ready for Thanksgiving. I'm just not quite ready for Christmas, you guys. Are you guys there? Are you guys crafting with Christmas stuff? Because I just, I can't, I can't do it yet. I don't know. I can't do it. I feel like because Christmas lasts so long, I have to really, um, you know, put it off so that it's not three months, only two months of Christmas instead of three months. Okay, my second, my second class actually is Christmas because I know you guys are ready and I have to work kind of a month ahead of you guys so I can get classes to you when you're ready. So this one is, now this one coordinates with our projects today. This is the Making Spirits Bright Stamp-A-Stack. So you will have, um, the, it comes with this bundle, the Making Christmas Bright stamp set. And this, in the holiday catalog, this is listed with a punch we're using today. And it's a bundle. Those two together are a bundle. And when you buy them together, you save 10%. So that's what's included with this class. Um, now, of course, you can get it without the bundle if you already have the bundle. Let's say I'm going to try to do something on my screen. Okay, there, I have a voicemail. And it wouldn't go away. Um, and you'll get 10 cards in this class, two of each. So um, also it includes this gorgeous satin, double satin ribbon, I think is what it's called, mixed satin ribbon. Um, if you have not gotten a class of mine before, um, I pack them all in just kind of a class kit. And it comes to your mailbox via priority mail, and I send you a PDF, and then you can do it whenever you're ready. 
it's a great way for those of us who are super busy and can't make it to local classes or maybe you want to take my class and you live far away it's a great way to take these classes um, and then you can just do it at your own pace at your own leisure you'll have the stamp set and the punch that you need um, i always tell you what inks that you'll need this class has a couple of add-on options. Thanks, Darcy, I appreciate it. Um, I love designing classes. I think out of everything that I do, designing classes and maybe designing for Facebook Friday are my favorites. I think thematically, I used to be a kindergarten and first grade teacher and when I first started teaching, that's what we did. We did a theme a week and I would do all my lesson plans, you know, around pumpkins for one week and whatever. So that's how I feel, um, when I plan classes, it's kind of like a thematic lesson plan that I do for those classes. I pick a bundle or a stamp set or whatever and design projects around it. So it's my favorite. Um, so this class, like I said, has some add-on options. One of them is being that Wink of Stella again. The, um, the bulbs, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, maybe like that. They're all shimmery and you'll need that. And I did include in the class because I know a lot of you already have it. But if you need it, you can add it on and I will pay the tax and shipping on it if you add things onto your class. Thanks, Gina. I appreciate that. Um, also, today's stamp set that we're using for these projects is an add-on to that class as well um, because here it is. Hopefully you guys have seen all the things I've been posting this week. It coordinates with that punch too. So look at them side by side. This one that we're that is for the class is all Christmas. And it has um, the light bulbs and lots of Christmas sentiments and some other things that go with it. Then this one is all seasons. There are some little Christmassy things, but there's Halloween, Easter, um, fall, snowflakes, Valentine's. So it's a, a great way to use your Christmas bulb builder punch all year by having that stamp set. So if you're gonna take this class, and you wanna add this one on, I'm also paying tax and shipping on that. So those, those are the two classes coming up. Thanks for sharing, Gina. Those are the two classes that are coming up in October. Um, the deadline on that one, uh-oh, I didn't tell you. Let me look. I have a little post-it note in here. October 24th, and they will be out by October 31st, in the mail to you by October 31st. And I ship all my classes priority with tracking and shipping. So we can find out some every now and then they don't show up and we can find them and we can get the um, post office to reimburse us if they're missing or whatever. So that's why I always do that those flat rate envelopes because, you know, we're protected. And you guys know how the postal service is. Okay, let's do some prizes. Um, let's see. Last week, um, I always give two prize, two sets of prizes away. The first way to be entered into earning a prize is to share my video and you can say that you shared it um, sometimes I can click on the share button and it'll tell me some of who shared it if you shared in like a private group I can't see it or if you share it via messenger I can't see that um, but if you share it publicly I can see that so um, you can just click that share or you can share it and then let me know that you shared like Lisa just did right there thank you Lisa um, so last week I randomly drawed drawed I randomly drew two people. Yes, I was a teacher. I know how to talk. I promise. Drew two um, winners from the shares and Debbie Hughes. Debbie, I know you. I know where you live. And Gail Gibbons. And Gail, we're Facebook friends, but I don't know your address. So please, please message me your address, Gail. And Gail, I believe, is in Florida. So this is perfect paper for her. Okay, so that's the share prize. And then I had the Sept September paper pumpkin kits. I had a bunch of them, so I'm giving two of them away. The first winner is, can you see it? Karen Christensen. And Karen, I don't think I have your address, so will you please email it to me, and I will get this out to you quickly, so you have time to do it before um, Halloween. And then Dinah Ramirez, and Dinah, I do know you. I have your mailing address, so Dinah, I will get this out to you. Hopefully, I will get them in the mail um, on Monday at the latest, okay? All right, so thank you. Now, these prizes, these weren't for sharing. I didn't even tell you. These were for just entering. Uh, over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, I always post the projects that we're doing today along with a PDF. And at the bottom, there's a chance to uh, enter and win. You just enter your information and it randomly picks winners 
for me. So those two were from that. It's called a raffle copter. And I like it because it just randomly picks people. I don't have to pick them because I always feel like, oh, I don't know who to pick. I don't know how to do it randomly. And then I feel like I'm, I don't know. Anyway, it's random, so I love it. Um, hi, I, who was that? Gloria. I just saw my downline Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Um, okay, so let's talk about prizes for this week. I've got two bolts of this awesome glitter, black glitter, I can't remember the name, black glitter organdy ribbon, two bolts of it to send out to anybody who shares. And then I've got two, ready, my favorite, two country home stamp sets. There's Dinah, yay, congratulations, Dinah. Um, so these, you have to go over to my blog and enter the raffle copter. If you haven't gotten this stamp set yet, you need it. And I'm happy to send it to two people, okay? So make sure you go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, enter at the bottom of the post. Has anybody gone over to my blog yet? Is the post up? I schedule them to go live, and sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. Hopefully it's there. Also, I told you guys I would have birthday treats, right? Okay, so I'm adding something. Birthday treats are gonna be added to anybody who orders connected to my Facebook Live. I always have a host, host code, and you'll see it in a minute on this when I flip the camera around. Um, the host code is also on that PDF that I mentioned to you over on my blog. And if you order between now and Monday at midnight and you use the host code, I always send the three make and takes, the three projects that I do, I send them to you so you can make them. They look kind of like this. They're all packaged individually and I fold it over and I send it in the mail to you so that you can make them at home. Um, those are free with a minimum $30 order between now and midnight on Monday, Monday midnight. This week, I'm gonna do that of course, but I'm also throwing in some red jewels. My team, every month, I send birthday cards to my downline and they get something in their birthday card and this is what I've been sending them this year. So I thought to celebrate my birthday, I would send these out to you guys with your orders, um, with your make and takes, your free make and takes, all right? So a minimum $30 order, between now and Monday midnight to earn you today's make and takes and a package of the red rhinestones. They're beautiful. You need them for Christmas. I have a bunch of them. I used my um, bonus days coupons. By the way, I need to remind you guys about that, about that. Remember the bonus days coupons that we all earned in August? Those $5 coupons I emailed you? Well, you have until Sunday to use those. Don't forget. I need, because I have a few more I need to spend. Um, but anyway, the big chunk of mine, I ordered a bunch of these so I could give them away to you guys. Okay, so there's that. Um, the PDF, I just want to point out one more time that today, today's PDF looks like this. It has the, the um, you know what, I just realized I didn't change the date on it, but that's okay. Um, it has the host code. It says your order by September 24th but the order, it's October 1st. I copied and pasted from last week and forgot to change the date. So anyways, um, if these three projects that we're gonna make today, there's measurements here at the bottom and, <coughs> excuse me, and all the products that I use. There's also the details about those classes that I showed you and one more call for Stamp Club to go. I'm closing that on Sunday. If you would like to join the group that starts October 1st, please let me know. Um, and you can go over to my blog and find out details about that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that there because I'm gonna need that. And one more shout out for this month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle. These I send out with anybody who spends $50 or more in my online store, um, stamping up in a stamping up product order. And um, if I miss you, then um, email me and let me know. I try to send them once a week. I do accidentally miss people sometimes, and sometimes I'm late sending them. I will not be mad if you email me and say, hey, you didn't send me the PDF, but I spent $50 because I'm human, got a lot going on, so just let me know. Um, but anyways, your order is if it's over $50 between now and um, Monday. I'll send that to you for free. I am so distracted because my texts are blowing up. I always put my phone on do not disturb for this, and I forgot to do it. Okay, 
Let's get started. Are you guys ready to stamp? I'm really, really excited about the projects today. Like I mentioned, we're using that Making Every Day Bright stamp set. And I don't know if you guys have noticed it in the catalog. It is super cute, of course. I only use super cute things. It is on page 47. And I have heard several comments about from people saying oh i didn't think i wanted that when you and now yeah i know i'm the same way i didn't think i thought meh, mm, it's all right until i started playing with it and now you guys i can't stop playing with it it's so fun and so so cute all right i'm going to rearrange some things here i'm going to flip you around and i'm going to cover you let's see if i can cover you for just a second if i accidentally hang up on you come back now, I want to tell you guys, I want to warn you that I did a little rearranging with my camera earlier this week, and I made it so that it's closer to the table. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or not, but one thing I'm noticing, I feel like it's darker down here, and I don't know why. I mean, I guess because the camera's closer to the table, it's blocking more light, and I don't like that I want it to be nice and bright for you guys <clears throat> so we'll try we'll try something else next week too I know that this little spot down here seems really dark what do you guys think okay now let me get straight here's some of the projects that use this set I also wanted to tape this down I can't stand when it's moving but my daughter stole my tape I know can you imagine a teenager stealing something and not putting it back where it was supposed to go if my mom's on here i know she's going to jump on and say oh hmm, i have no idea what that's like <laughs> karma you guys having a daughter will teach you what karma is all about okay so let's go let's review real quick earlier in the week did you guys catch my um, facebook live that i did over on my business page Thanks, Barbara. I'm glad. Maybe the shadow from the camera. Yeah, I think, Judy, I think it's the shadow. I think when the phone was higher up, the, the shadow was more dispersed. And I have a ton of lighting up here, you guys. I have uh, bought these, you know, big lights for this. But anyway, all right. You know what I could do? Okay, hold on. Let's see if we could lighten it up. So midweek, I did um, a Facebook Live. That's a little bit better. All right, now how do I get this off? I don't wanna start the baby shark. <laughs> There's a baby shark filter and it'll just start playing that baby shark song. Okay, anyway, so midweek Facebook Live, this is what I did. I used this one, right? Remember I said I think it's a bunny ear, but I'm gonna make it a petal and that's what we did here. Super cute, that little heart is also in there. Love the heart. Then this was me just playing around with it, the pine cones. I wanted to do the pine cones, but then I was like, I really can't do the pine cones without the lights. So there's that. I didn't finish it. I haven't put a sentiment on it yet, but there's that. And then today we're gonna use the spider web and we're gonna use the light bulb and we're gonna use the little heart and we're gonna use the feather. Now somebody emailed me this week and I'm drawing a blank of who it was. I told her, I know, I can't remember, but she said she'd be watching. Um, anyway, this stamp right here is to stamp onto your feather and it'll give it, you know, two different colors. So if you stamped it on, oh, I don't know, Daffodil Delight and then stamped it again and Daffodil Delight will kind of make it two-tone. And then this is the bottom of the egg, I'm guessing right here. We've got a four-leaf clover, a bow, and that one, I'm not sure, I'd have to look at it for a few minutes. These are super cute, the little bright, you know, things, the bases, the snowflake. This one we're gonna use. This one we're also gonna use. It looks like a stick pen, but it is a for a pendant light, you know, for a light bulb that hangs down. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna start, here's our three projects, but we're gonna move these out of the way. And we are going to start with Halloween, of course. You guys know me. You know I'm gonna do Halloween first. And I have to say that the other stamp I am using is from this month's Paper Pumpkin, which happens to be available to order in the store. They normally do not release a full kit right away, um, and but they did. 
so some of my stamps are all over the place. So if you did not get this, this month's Paper Pumpkin and you want it, at the time I checked this morning, they were still over there in the store. Now you have to subscribe to become, you have to become a Paper Pumpkin subscriber um, to buy those kits. But I'm telling you guys, my Paper Pumpkin when it comes is, it's very exciting. I love it. All right, I'm trying to reach all my stuff that's here. We're gonna start out with a masking. I showed you guys my tip of the week yesterday, and it was to create a mask using your framelits. And this is the framelit I'm using from the Cauldron Builder Framelits. Is that what they're called? The Cauldron Framelits. You know, the ones that go with the toil and trouble. Cauldron Builder, yeah, that's what it's called. And so I just grabbed some scrap paper and I die cut three um, spider webs. That's it. Nothing fancy, just cardstock. We're gonna use a spritzer. I filled my spritzer with rubbing alcohol. Doesn't matter what kind. Then I took Smoky Slate Reinker or Ink Refill and I put about five drops in there. I found this, I wanted it to be very light, but I found the Smoky Slate was super light. So five drops was still pretty, pretty light. So you might wanna play with it to see how um, dark you want it. All right, so now when I spritz, I am known to spritz everything within a six mile radius. So I am going to try to eliminate that today by using a box. And I also have just a piece of um, chipboard, you know, like cardboard that comes with our paper. I mean, with our, yeah, in our DSP pack. The piece that we act, that we need for this little, I haven't even showed you guys what's in it. Hello, inside are Pop Rocks. Cute, right? These I got at Target. They're in the Halloween section. Pumpkin Patch Orange Pop Rocks. My kids hate Pop Rocks, but if you're from the 70s and the 80s, you'll love them, right, you guys? I think they're fun. This would be a fun little treat for your girlfriends or in the office. But anyway, I'm calling it a Pop Rocks wallet. Um, so that this is the background that we're, that we're creating. Sorry, I missed the whole first part of the important part, what we're actually making. So the white piece that we need for the front of this measures three by four and three fourths. And if I did that, I wouldn't, if I cut it that size, I wouldn't be able to tape it down. And I wanted to tape it down so it would stay flat, um, just for time's sake. I mean, it'll flatten out once it dries, but for time's sake, I cut it a little bit longer. I also drew little marks right here so I know exactly where I need to cut it, and also where I'm gonna lay my spider webs. So I'm just gonna, lay on there, and it doesn't have to be exact or precise. I mean, you can just do whatever you want. I think I'm gonna turn that one over because it's kind of curled a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna lay on there, no adhesive, nothing. I'm gonna take my spritzer. I was gonna tell you guys a funny story. Um, I'm gonna hold my spritzer about 12 inches away and just kind of go over it like this. One time, many years ago, I was spritzing and I was so proud of myself that I hadn't made a big giant mess. And then I went to the grocery store, did my grocery shopping and I came home and I saw myself in the mirror and my entire belly was covered in whatever the color was, it was green, <laughs> green spritz all over my belly. So I am cautious when I spritz. Okay, now let me take these off. See, it's just kind of a shadow. If you really wanted it to be, you know, um, exact and, and crisp, you would need to somehow adhere those down. Um, but I wanted it kind of, you know, like it's a shadow. Now we're gonna add some shimmer paint. Here's my shimmer paint. I gotta find my, I put my, uh-oh, I put my, what am I trying to say? My aqua painter that I was using, it ran away and I used it last night, so hold on. Well, we're just gonna have to use a different one. Hopefully it has no color in it. Okay, I have an aqua painter set aside. Is it over here? Weird. I have um, an aqua painter set aside for shimmer paint because it is quite shimmery. And once you get it in your um, blender pen, it's kind of hard to get it out. So anyways, I'm just gonna dip. This is the champagne and I'm gonna flick. Okay, see I'm just dipping and flicking, dipping, flicking. And there we go, that's good. Now, I pre-recorded this video. You guys know I've been trying to do that so that we have clean recordings of these on YouTube. 
And yesterday when I was doing this, I flicked so much champagne mist on there that it took a really long time to dry. <laughs> Hopefully, today's will dry quickly and we won't have to sit here and wait. But that's why I did it first because we're gonna kind of set it aside and give it a few minutes. I can also hit it with a heat tool. Okay, so there's just kind of our grungy Halloween-y background. We're gonna set that aside. I don't think I got spritz on me, hopefully. All right, let's stamp these cute little stamps. Um, the first one we're gonna do is the light bulb, and we're gonna do the light bulb in pumpkin pie. Let's do it three times. One, two, three. And then we're gonna do the little base, which, here we go, and we're gonna do it in black. Now there's two different bases right here. There's this one and this one, and I don't know if that's the right word for the bottom of a light bulb, but that's what I'm calling it. Just We're just gonna go with it, because I have no idea if there's an official name. And I'm gonna stamp this one four times, because I'm actually gonna need it. You know what, no, I'm gonna do it three times here. You'll see why in just a second. Now the other one, the other bulb is the spider. And I am stamping it in memento black on Granny Apple, and I'm gonna do the light bulb on the Granny Apple. There we go. Okay, now you guys know when you have a punch that is a, that is a double, like it punches more than one thing, you can actually get your stamps and punch a template and lay your stamps in it, put your block down. I showed you guys that um, a couple of months ago when we did the Elephant Builder. Well, I didn't do that today, but just know that you can do it. <laughs> okay, that way, because you're gonna see, watch, when I punch this out, see how I punch two things randomly. And that the little base, it doesn't bother me, but here in a minute, when we get to the, the little bases, you'll see it does, it would help save your cardstock. Now, over here, this base, see how if I punch that, it's gonna waste all that. So what I'm gonna do, actually, if you haven't set your stamps up on your block to punch them at the same time, just cut a little strip like that. And like I said, if you wanna see how to do that, you can go back and watch my Facebook Friday. I think it was probably in June, and I show you how to line those up. It was actually a Tuesday tip, I believe. All right, now the cute little spider. Wow, we have a lot of people watching today. Hi, everybody, thanks for joining me. Thanks for celebrating my birthday with me today. I went and got a pedicure, a nice long pedicure, not a normal pedicure. I went to like the spa, you know, I do it once a year on my birthday, it's fancy. It's not just like your neighborhood corner pedicure place. And it was very nice. They do the, oh, what do you call it? They put the thing around your neck that smells good and it's super quiet and it's like a tranquil, I don't know, it was beautiful. And I really should have gotten a manicure while I was there too, but honestly, I didn't want to take the time <laughs> to sit there longer because this was an hour and a half pedicure. And it was wonderful. And then I went to Target, so that's fun too. I love going to Target. All right, see how I put those bulbs on there, or the little bases on there with glue dots. Now, let's see if our paper is dry. Eh, it's not really that dry, so let's get the heat tool. I don't know what's going on with my fingernails, but they seem to have quit on me lately. I may have to actually go and get them done. I don't know, I hate, I hate doing that. I'd rather spend the hour making cute stuff than sitting there while somebody does my fingernails. Do you guys get your nails done all the time? I just, I don't know. I just can't commit to that hour. And then it's maintenance, right? If you break one, then you're stuck and you have to go over there. I don't know. All right, let's see if all of our shimmer is dry. Hopefully it is. I used to get my nails done back before I had kids, you know. <laughs> had free time. And my daughter, my teenager, she said um, to me recently, Mom, do you know you can go to the nail salon and they will give you fake nails that last? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I do. She's like, can we do that? I said, well, when you can start paying for it because, hello, maintenance on that. Uh-oh, my, oh no, my thing is gone. Oh, I got the wrong one. I have a missing gutter on one of my trimmers. It's just 
missing. I mean, I know where it is. All right, I'm going to trim this. I have three girls, so can you imagine the cost, the maintenance cost, if I was to give in and say, okay, we can get your nails done. Well, then I have to get everybody's nails done. Sorry, get a job. I know, I'm such a mean mom. Okay, hopefully I cut that down to the right size. We're going to, let me make sure I have that before I put that trimmer all the way around. Nope, I did not. What did I say the size needs to be? Let me look at my PDF, Whisper White, three by four and three fourths. There we go. Not the scoring. You guys notice how I score, I labeled my, this one's a cutting blade and this one's a scoring blade because I can never remember <laughs> which is which. And I would cut when I was trying to score. You know, scoring when you're trying to cut is one thing, but if you accidentally cut it, then you, you're done, you gotta get your paper. So that's why I labeled them. Okay, we're going to ink this up. This is the stamp from that set that is like a string of lights. And I'm going to angle it, hopefully, so that my light bulbs will all show. Then I'm going to get my dimensionals. And we're gonna put the, we're gonna start with a cute little spider one. I don't know, if you don't like spiders, then you're not going to like that, that light bulb. I know some people just really hate spiders. I don't like spiders, but I don't, mind them. I mean, I don't get super scared. I mean, I don't want them crawling on me, but so I don't mind that and those cute little spider trinkets. They're so cute for a spider. They, they're cute. Now this one is where I kind of got in a pickle right here. You see that it's hanging off. So when we put it on the holder, if it's hanging off too much, we're just going to trim it off and we're going to have half a light bulb, which is okay. You can see over here I did it and it looks fine. All right, now let's do... Let's get these stamps. Remember, these stamps are from the Paper Pumpkin this month. September's Paper Pumpkin was all Halloween. And really cute little treat bags. However, the stamp set is really cute. Nope, that's not the one I want. I really, really like the fonts. So spooky and then treats for you. And I have found that this stamp is a little bit shallow, so if I push too hard, I get ink there. If you have a stamp like that, you can cut that, that part out, but this one, I really couldn't, so I have to ink it lightly. Uh-oh, am I out of the frame? Whoops. There we go, spooky. And then, treats for you. And then, hello, guess what? There's a spider, a tiny, tiny spider. When I, I didn't realize that, until I had done all this and then I saw that there was a spider and I was like oh my gosh it's like they knew what I was gonna need so there we go I put a little spider on my webs and you guys I've been ignoring you I'm sorry oh Reba you're so sweet I don't know if my husband would would agree with you I'm not that much fun <laughs> oh sometimes sometimes Okay, so we're gonna put that on the mat which measures, it's pumpkin pie, and it is three and an eighth by four and seven eighths. Remember, this is all over there on my blog. All right, we need the bow. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do some fussy work with your ribbon. This is the Granny Apple Green Woven Ribbon. It comes in gray granite and in the Poppy Parade, and I love to do this with my ribbon. I am gonna take my scissors and cut off the edge I, this was one of my first real discoveries when I became a demonstrator many, many years ago. We had ribbon that was similar to this in the end colors. And that was when I was really just kind of learning stamping and learning how to, I was already scrapbooking, but really how to just kind of be, you know, alternative and do things that maybe things weren't necessarily designed for. And I remember I wanted to use, what was that, Concord? Grape, I think was the color. I wanted to use a ribbon, but it was too big. So I did this and I pulled out the ribbon, the, the um, hello, what are these called? The fibers. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. Because at that time in scrapbooking, you could go buy bags of fibers like this. And so keep your fibers together like they're one piece and just tie a bow. And it's going to be messy, but that's what we want. It 
gives you like some texture and it's kind of airy and some of them will be too short and that's okay because it's fun and I think I'm going to trim those and then trim those off and put it there doesn't isn't that more fun than just a bow I think that's really fun and I so now so ever since then a million years ago I'm always looking at our um, ribbons and trying to see ooh, which ones can I cut apart all right, mini glue dot, there we go, and he's covering up that spider. Cute. All right, now let's get our Pop Rocks going. And because, remember, what time is it? Okay, ooh, 30 minutes. The other day, I told you guys I have to go pick up my daughter. She gets out at 3-ish, and I say ish because I've told you guys how much I love parent pickup. And we only live half a mile from the school, so she goes out with the walkers and then I pick her up so she doesn't have to walk all the way home and she likes it so I mean whatever but anyway the other day I leave it you know I know exactly what time to leave to meet her at a certain point and I got lost in what I was doing and I was about eight minutes late I was so panicked but she she was like I thought you forgot me and she was laughing about it and luckily it wasn't raining or anything but <laughs> I have an alarm set on my phone now so I don't forget all right um this is a piece of basic basic black that is five by ten and I'm going to score it at three and a fourth and three and three eighths so that's just an eighth of an inch right there it's those lines right next to each other and then six and five eighths and six and three fourths again just a little gap to hold on to our um pop rock so it's not flat now let me get my trimmer back out and we're going to trim the left side and we're going to trim it from this top left corner to the bottom right corner and we're going to make that diagonal and I'm going to put that corner there in the gutter and make this corner down here in the gutter like that and just trim it off. Now we're, we need a piece of DSP that will fit on here and so this is really what I need my bone folder and I don't have it. I need to make one of those bracelets, you know, that has things connected to it. Although I don't think a bone fold on a bracelet would would work. Do you guys? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. We need a piece of DSP here. I think I've showed you guys this before. So we're gonna cut this diagonally. And the first time I did it, I just thought, oh, it doesn't matter, and I cut it here. But then my triangles were both backwards. So you have to kind of look, and you want it to mirror this. So I'm gonna start up here at the right top right and go down to the bottom left. Same thing, line that corner and the bottom corner in the gutter. And this is great because you have two now, exactly the same. And if you were doing this with cardstock, it wouldn't matter because it would matter the print and then you could just turn it. But because I needed the green polka dots, I had to make sure that I was doing it on the right side. All right, so let's do that. But before we do that, I need to close this up. I'm just gonna put one little staple right here in the corner. And then I'm gonna take that DSP and that will cover up that staple right there. And slide those pop rocks right in. There we go. And if you have your bone folder, yours will be much more crisp than mine. I know I could grab it, but. Okay, so there's your folder, your wallet. And all we have to do is put on this little cover that we did. And you are ready to take these to work or wherever. I think I'm gonna leave that. I don't know, what do you guys think? Maybe I should cut it off. Let's see, I'm gonna cut it off. I want it to be even. There we go, I do like that better. All right, there we go, project number one. All done. Pop Rocks. A Pop Rocks wallet is what I'm calling it. And it's fun. Lots of little techniques in there. That one, I knew that one was gonna take me a little while. It took me quite a while to film the video um, yesterday for it. All right, let me move this project out of the way and grab the second one. Now the next one is for my card people. Those of you who don't want me to do anything but cards, here's one for you. I'm a, I like to do the 3Ds, but I love doing cards too. So. I don't know, but I know there's some of you that really, you're like, I need cards. We're gonna use the feather, and I called it a leaf halfway through my video yesterday. It's a feather, but in looking at it, I think it could also 
in fact be a leaf. All right, you're gonna, we're gonna do a crumb cake base. This is half a piece of cardstock, cut on the long side at five and a half, and then just fold it in half, okay? So it's four and a fourth by five and a half. The reason I want, a lot of times when I do my cards, I cut my cardstock this way. I like my fold at the top, specifically because when I photograph them for my blog, it photographs better that way. Um, but for this card, I need the fold on the side because we're gonna wrap that twine around that fold. So that's why the fold is there. Then you're gonna need a piece of crumb cake that is two inches by five and a fourth. Don't write it down, it's on the PDF on my blog. And I'm gonna get this little feather and I'm just gonna start on the right side. And the reason I'm going down the right side is because we're gonna use a die cut, an edgelet on the left side. And I wanna tell you guys a little tip here. When I stamped this, the first few times I kept getting the little halo. Um, you know, when you get ink on the rubber that is around kind of the, not really the frame, but you know, there's a little extra rubber um, or photopolymer around the outside. And I kept getting that halo on one side. So if you have that problem with any of your stamps, get your scissors out and just trim it off. Um, if you if you look closely, you can kind of see how up here I cut that off. Um, so it would quit picking that ink up. All right, so I went for I went left, right, left, right with those feathers all the way down, and I'm gonna color them with my. Why does it look so foggy on my camera? That's weird. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna color them with Stampin' Blends. Close your eyes, guys. Don't look. You know when the cameraman is like in a hurricane and he has to wipe off his. Looks like it's foggy. Like I don't know. That's weird. We'll pretend like we're in a hurricane. Okay, now remember we're using Stampin' Blends and I've mentioned this to you guys before. If you ever use yellow with your memento, let it sit for a while or set it with your heat tool. The other colors are just fine. They don't pick up that memento, but I have found that the yellows will smear that black right at the beginning. So I always set it. All right, I'm using darks today. Dark Daffodil Delight. Oh, wow, out of, the, out of the lines right off the bat there. All right, slow down, take your time. So Daffodil Delight Dark, and I'm coloring these on Crumb Cake cardstock. I don't know if you guys have thought about using your blends on colored cardstock, but it's fun. It gives it kind of a different look. This is a, a muted, kind of a muted feel. Um, now I'm doing Cajun Craze. By the way, you guys, I am going to start a Stampin' Blends Club starting in November. So next month, October, you will hear me talking about it if you're interested in signing up to be part of my Stampin' Blends Club. Make sure you look for that. Now this, actually that was Pumpkin Pie. This is Cajun Craze. Dark Pumpkin Pie, Dark Cajun Craze. My Stampin' Blends Club is a great way to help you build up your Stampin' Blends. We did it last year, and now we have a whole bunch of new Stampin' Blends. And if you already own your Stampin' Blends, you can still join the club. I send uh, two projects, two make and takes every month to everybody in my club, along with video tutorials on how to use your blends. Um, you don't have to buy the blends every month. You just can put in an equal or amount order. So... I think we did three colors each month. It was like $30, $33 order. If you already have the blends, then you would just order whatever you wanted. But you would still get the projects and the videos. So be looking for that if you're interested. Now, I'm not going to go all the way down. Oh, boo. You know what? I did have one pre-colored. Okay, I'm going to have to pick up the pace. I had one pre-colored for you guys. And I don't know. I think I might have thrown it away. Okay, so we're going to go real fast. Color, color, color. I didn't want you guys to have to sit here and watch me color. So I'm going to just tell you a few things while we color. So yes, today is my 42nd birthday. Although I'm pretending it's my 28th again. And we're doing nothing exciting. My daughter has a softball game. And we're going to that. And then we might go to 
the food truck park. I don't know. Do you guys have food truck parks where you live? Where all the fancy food trucks park? And um, we have a really fun one here near our house. And with the kids, I just want to, you know, like be able to let them go and play and hang out. And then my husband and I and our friends can just sit and eat and have a beverage. And so that's what we're doing. So nothing fancy. It's a pretty normal, actually, it's a little fancier. Normally Friday nights, we do a whole lot of nothing. My husband falls asleep every Friday night, like at 7.30. <laughs> and that's usually my time to sneak off to my office, um, my craft room. But tonight, we're gonna be real wild and go to the softball game and to the food truck park. But that's okay. You know, as you get older, you know birthdays. You know, you guys know. It is what it is, and that's okay. I was thinking about in the pedicure chair today how blessed I am and all the blessings I have, and birthdays don't matter because every day, truly every day, I'm blessed. It doesn't matter. I should be thankful to be 42, right? All right, we're moving on. I got them colored. They're not perfect, but that's okay. Now we're gonna cut the edge of this with an edgelet you may not have noticed. They are called the delicate lace edgelets. And I'm gonna pull this open real quick because I marked it. It's really funny. I did not even know notice these in the catalog. Okay, I marked the page, but where is it? I marked the wrong page. I didn't even notice these until another demonstrator said something about them on her video. Here they are, right here, page. 217, the delicate lace edgelets. And the reason I had not noticed them is because they don't have a stamp set that coordinate with them somewhere else in the catalog. You know, like all of these are in the catalog somewhere else with stamp sets, but this one is not. So I thought I'd point that out to you. It's beautiful. There's three different little, um, little edgelets in there. And it's a detailed edgelet or detailed thinlet which means it's going to make a lot of little cuts and a lot of little things so it needs to be run through a couple of times and look you guys i'm using a dryer sheet and i've showed you this trick before put that dryer sheet down under your cardstock and lay your cardstock on there with your edgelet i cannot tell if this is straight hold on let me get it straight okay then you run it through and it will pull off and leave all those little doodads there. Thanks for the happy birthdays, you guys. Thank you. All right, so there we go. Now, I should have done this ahead of time, or I should have done this before I pulled it over, but I was too busy jibber jabbering with you. Let's do this little stamp here. That way we don't have to bring the big shot back over. This is a sentiment from that Falling for Leaves set that I showed you. It's so cute that I'm in love with. It says, thinking of you with a grateful heart. And I'm stamping it in soft suede. And we're just gonna run it through again. Get that big shot over here. Run it through with a layering oval. That. Thanks for sharing, Jessica. I appreciate it. Sharing helps us as demonstrators, um, helps us find new customers and reach new people. So we always are appreciative when you guys share. All right, so there's that. Now let's take this off. And look at that. It just comes off and everything sticks to the dryer sheet. I love it. All right, isn't that beautiful? So beautiful. All right, we're almost done. Almost. Now we're going to take this, and this card's kind of a tone on tone, kind of a muted. All the, the uh, colors are muted, and we've got that crumb cake. So I'm going to put that there. But isn't that beautiful? Um, just crumb cake on crumb cake. And then I'm going to take the braided linen trim. I don't think I cut that straight, but we're going to ignore that. I was doing it sideways in my defense. Right? I don't know. We're gonna pretend. Lin braid linen. What did I? What am I saying? Braided linen trim. Um, really cute. It's like the linen twine, but thicker, and you can pull it apart. Um, and I love our linen thread, so it's very similar to that. 
All right, now let's put this um, oval, the sentiment here, up here towards the bow, but we're not done yet. But there's more, wait. We're gonna do a few more feathers, not leaves, feathers. And this time, instead of coloring them, we're gonna do it the fast way. We're gonna stamp them tone on tone on these different colors. So I'm gonna start with Daffodil Delight right there. Clean your, your stamp. And then we're gonna do Pumpkin Pie right there. Clean your stamp. Actually, it would probably be okay if you didn't clean them between these colors, as long as you started with the lightest and went to the darkest. And Cajun Craze. I know some of you hate Cajun Craze, but I love Cajun Craze in the fall. I hear that all the time. Ew, Cajun Craze. Whatever, I love it. It's very fallish. All right, now look, the light bulb now becomes a feather. Awesome, right? So creative, the way that they came up with the images in the stamp the stamp set to fit the light bulb, the Christmas bulb builder punch. The name is a mouthful. Okay, so now last but not least, if I can find my glue dots. Oh my goodness, where did they go? They're on the other tray, of course. I'm slip sliding around in my sandals from my pedicure. They put too much whatever on my, <laughs> on my feet. I'm slip sliding around. All right, so glue dots, and I'm just gonna kind of do them kind of sporadic like that, like they're hanging down. And voila, we are done. Beautiful, I love it, fun. And you know, it's Thanksgiving-ish in my mind, these projects, but that card you could give any time. Thinking of you with a grateful heart. It's always important to show gratitude, right, you guys? All right. That camera is still driving me crazy. You like it better than Tangerine Tango, Sarah? Yes, Tangerine Tango, yuck. I didn't like that color either. All right, what do you guys think? I hope you like it. I've got one more for you, and it's gonna be quick. Quick-ish. Oh, I got 15 minutes. That's a long time. All right, have you guys seen the new Baker's Boxes? Look. This is in the holiday catalog, and they are baker's boxes that come already ready. You just assemble them. So that's what this is. I made some cookies during the weekend, some big peanut butter cookies, and they fit perfectly in there. So if you are a holiday baker, you're going to want to order some of these. This is what they look like. They're quite big. See that? Um, and they hold quite a bit, and they are food safe. So... These are really awesome. So I'm gonna do, the tag here is gonna be our cute little light bulbs, but before we do that, I'm gonna stamp some hearts around the sides of this box. And I made that tag first, and then I kind of worked backwards on this, and I thought, oh, I need, I need a heart, I need a heart. What um, stamp set has a heart? And I looked all around, and then I saw that this new Takeout Treats um, set has a heart. Well, later on when I was making my sunflower, <laughs> I realized, hello, the stamp set you're using has a heart. But we're just going to stick with a large heart. Either one would work. Now, I want to warn you that this is a slick surface, okay? So, stamp straight up and straight down. Um, it is not like our regular cardstock. So, it will smear and it will slip slide all around your ink. And you do need to give it some time to dry. Now, I am only stamping the heart on the sides of the box. This is the bottom and this is the top and these flaps will go down in the box. Thanks, Catherine. Hey, you guys, I wanna make sure that you know how to save your, um... oh no, <laughs> Sarah, you like Tangerine Tango? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, you guys can save this video to your saved items if you can't watch. I do this all the time. Up in the right corner, there are three little dots and you um, click them and it'll say, one of the options is save video. And then you have a little collection over on your left side of your home screen on Facebook of all your saved videos. And you can go back and watch them when you have time. Just a little tip, because I can't watch all the live videos when they're live, I just save them for later. All right, this is a large stitched 
Whisper White Oval. And I'm gonna take the little light bulb that has the heart inside of it. And I'm gonna stamp it about four times like this. Okay, now I'm gonna take that little needle that, that looks like a stick pin, and I'm just gonna use, I'm not using the circle part, I'm just using this straight part. Sarah, are we still friends, even though we can't agree on Tangerine Tango? All right, now here's where I'm gonna show you why masking is important. If I were to stamp this, it would stamp on that light bulb right there, and we don't want that. We want it to go behind. So what I did is I stamped this onto a post-it note and cut it out, punched it out actually, and I'm going to cover that light bulb um, up and then stamp my string, and that circle's gonna be kind of a problem, and then connect it right there so that it goes behind. I have that circle there, but that doesn't bother me. All right, so see how that's masking your line to go behind. Oh my goodness, there's a little bug flying around. Weird. Okay, now we also need to do this one on scratch paper. And we're using the other base as well. Oh, now it's, a, now it's flying around, it's a little net. And I'm just gonna stamp these right on top of each of those. Whoops, that one, that was a little off center. That's okay, we're gonna cover it up in a second. Um, okay, so we've got that, there's a little base. You like tangent, tangerine, see, I don't even think those are the same, like, that's like apples and oranges to me. Tanger, um, Tangelo Twist, Tangerine Tango, and Cajun Craze. Now, Tangelo Twist and Tangerine Tango, yes, very similar. The Cajun Craze is like totally a different, animal. Isn't it funny how we all see colors in a different light? Okay, you forgive me, Sarah. I will send you a card made of Tangerine Tango. I'll find some old cardstock saying I'm sorry I offended your, your color. <laughs> okay, now I um, dried it a little bit because we're going to use some yellow. I'm going to take um, Flirty Flamingo and just color in those hearts. I think it's going to rain. Some clouds have some clouds have rolled in while I was talking to you guys. It's weird. Now this one we're gonna punch out. I'm gonna take, ooh, I don't like that end. Um, I'm gonna take my Daffodil Delight and go around and make it like this is the one that's on. Okay. Then I gotta add some Wink of Stella to it. This is what I was telling you guys about in the beginning when I was telling you about my other light bulb class. The Wink of Stella added to the light bulbs just really, it just is really good, really good. Makes it a little bit sparkly. All right, so let's punch this one out. And so we don't waste too much. I'm gonna slip this one in here. Uh-oh, I hope I made it long enough. I may have to. Oh, good grief. I was trying to save paper. Let's try again. It's too short. I cut it. And I could grab a post-it note, but I'm just going to do it. Okay. All right. Punch out that base right there. And now we have a ghost. We have a ghost light bulb. All right. A little glue dot. Have you guys been using the Take Your Pick tool? Of course, I would say it. And I've already put it on the back counter. Have you been using the Take Your Pick tool? It is great when you are trying to get something off of your mini glue dot strip. All right, so there we go. We're gonna add that one kind of just in there. I don't know, where do I wanna put it? Low, high, I feel like it needs to go right there. I'm gonna put a dimensional on there, but before I put that dimensional on there, I'm gonna get some of this basic black Baker's twine and a dimensional. I feel like the wheels are coming off here, you guys. Everything is everywhere. I've lost all my organized piles. It's all right. Now, see, I'm gonna put that there on the back of the light bulb. Put the dimensional down there so that it's holding that on there. See that? Smart, right? All right, now we're gonna overlap that and we're gonna wrap that around 
just like that. And if you have tape, you could put tape on there. But again, my teenage daughter took my tape and it fell into a black hole and I haven't seen it since. So I'm gonna put a dimensional. And then I'm gonna come back and make a black bow. Thanks, Shelby. Okay, good, Sarah, that will make it all better. And mini glue dot. And if I had my take your pick tool, you know what, I'm just gonna grab it. Who cares, right? Just grab it. So see, here's that spatula end and you just pick it up and put it right where you want it. Oh yeah, I like it. Now, one of my favorite things to do is find sentiments that go with our cute little stamps. Cause this stamp set doesn't have sentiments at all. It's all images. So I looked around, I was trying to find something for the light bulb and here is Jar of Love. You light up my life. Hello, perfect. So it was a no brainer. I'm gonna stamp it on Flirty Flamingo in Memento Black. And I'm gonna trim it out, use your trimmer if you want it to be perfect. I'm just gonna trim it out with my scissors. Just, it's, it's, I have no idea the size, it's just the height and width of the, of the words. Just a rectangle. And then I'm gonna put that, and now I feel like this one needs to go on this side. Oh, hold on. It's different from my original. Let's do it, I don't know. Hmm, all right, maybe we will go on that side. There we go. You light up my life. I do have to say, this tag is based on a card I saw online. I have no idea whose it was, but she did a card with all these little light bulbs and it was they were all jumbled like that and it was so cute. So, to whoever it was, thank you. It was so cute. All right, let's see. Yep, I'll dry. Let's put our baker's box together. Where did I get my cute watch band? Tracy, Amazon. Yeah, I cannot stand the Apple watch bands. They make my hand look like a man's hand. <laughs> <laughs> and so I couldn't stand it, especially when I was watching the videos that I was making. So Amazon, there was a really expensive one that came up on Facebook, um, an ad, and I ordered it and it was junk. I hated it. And then I was mad. And so I looked on Amazon and there were a ton of different ones on Amazon. You know, they're like 20 bucks. So this one is from Amazon. Actually, I've ordered another one too because um, this one is starting to rub off. You know, it's 20 bucks. It lasted a few months few months maybe four or five months which is fine all right so I put that all together and I didn't even tell you guys what I did hopefully you were watching fold those in this goes over it's not rocket science you guys can figure it out it's not hard put your cookies in or your Oreo truffles and close it up now I use daffodil delight look at that I don't have enough I used this on the original and I am out I gotta make sure I add this to my order. So let's pretend that we've made a beautiful bow. We'll just make a knot. Oh, it's so sad, look. <laughs> and I just used a random little clothespin from Walmart, you know, the little ones in the craft area to clip it on. All right, let's go back and look at the original since it has the pretty bow. And there you have it, the baker's box. You guys, I'm telling you, you need to get these baker's box, baker's boxes for your holiday treats because, I don't know, I think they're gonna be very popular. And you know what happens when something is really popular around here? We won't mention the B word. Back order. But I don't know, I mean, I have no idea if those will go on back order or not, but I just think that they'll be really popular. All right, you guys, what do you think? Do you like this set? Do you like the things, the different options that it gives you? Remember that if you want to get my Christmas class, um, you can add this stamp set on for just $16. I'm gonna pay the tax and shipping on it for you and include it in your class kit. Um, and then if you put in an order this weekend, you'll have these make and take sent to you for free so that then you'll have not only the 10 cards that you'll get in the class kit middle of October, but you'll have three more projects to make um, with a cute stamp set that coordinates with the Christmas light bulb. Oh, what's, what's it called? It's a mouthful. Christmas bulb builder punch. I'm just going to call it the Christmas light punch. 
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to share for a prize and go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com and enter for a prize there as well. And I will be back next Friday. I think we're going to do Falling for Leaves next Friday. And then it'll probably be time to do Christmas after that. <laughs> I need one more week of fall before we move straight into Christmas. You guys have a great one. Thanks for joining me on my birthday. I appreciate it. And I will go back and answer any of the questions that you guys asked that I missed. Have a great weekend, you guys. See you next week.